If you're looking to speed up your process as a React developer and you want to go in and start using some React components that are pre-built, that are greatly designed or, you know, semi-designed enough where you could customize them uh, just enough to make it like an original design for yourself, then this is some of the best resources that I'm about to give you right now. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. If you like this type of videos, make sure you subscribe and you like the content and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Okay, so today I want to introduce you guys to Tremor.so. So this right here is a React library, right, to build dashboards fast, okay? It's a series of components, right? You have things like area chart, uh, bar charts, line charts, scatter charts, donuts, right, accordions, um, again, pretty much everything that you need to start building a dashboard. Now, again, this is really useful for someone building some type of full stack application and you want to have an admin section or a dashboard for the user to see some data and some stats. Okay. Um, instead of you having to build everything from scratch, come in and use this library. And again, all of these libraries that I'm about to show you guys right now, they're pretty much free. So they're open source. So any one of you guys can use it without having to pay a dime which is always a good thing, right? Now, the next one that we have right here is called radix-ui.com. And I really like this one because it's very nice and clean. There's a lot of different examples of things that you can use. So again, you could theme this out, right? You got colors, right? Dark mode, right? Typography that's already laid out for you. You got things for your layouts, right? You have grids, uh, flex, right? Again, it's just to make your life much easier. You have things like a container, right? Let's get into some of the components that it has. Uh, you have an alert, right? Uh, again, aspect ratio, badges, avatar, cards. Again, you have different examples of things that you can go and build. Um, so it's really to save you some time. As you can see, edit profile, which is like a dialogue, right? You have other things like hover cards. As you can see here, you have insets, uh, scroll area, uh, separator. You also have tables, tabs, text area. So pretty much everything that you need to start building a web application. And again, it has a lot of utilities that you can also use. Another thing that's pretty cool, it has some primitives, right? Uh, some examples of things that you can build with it. You also have icons, um, again, uh, if you're looking for some really clean icons, this is one of the best ones that I've seen. Another thing that you have, again, is colors and, you know, accessible colors uh, that can really work in a situation. Okay, so that's Radix right there, guys. Now, again, guys, if you want to learn how to code and you like this type of content, trust me, you definitely want to come to codingphase.com and try the service out um, pretty much. We don't teach coding as a hobby. We focus on the things that's going to get you a job or you can start freelancing with or start building your own business. If this is something that you're really passionate about and you want to start doing, guess what? Definitely come to codingphase.com. We have the gold membership, diamond membership, right? Uh, so anyone with any type of budget can come in and get started. Now, again, you can always come in, check out the Hall of Fame, right? Don't believe me? Check out some of the students that we've had success with and, and people that have uh, came through coding phase and are killing it right now. Okay. So yeah, let's go to the next one that we have here. Now, this one is a very popular one, which is Chad DCN, not chat CDN, but chat uh, DCN. Um, again, this one is another one that you can use for dashboards, right? They have a lot of different examples of things that you can do with their components. You have different cards. Again, if you want to build like a uh, UI for some type of application uh, that you're building, especially with full stack. This pretty much gives you every simple uh, example that's out there for whatever it is that you're trying to go for. You have playground, you see you got different modes, text, right? Um, you also have forms. So you can see here some examples how, let's say a profile page could look like, okay? Now, again, you could go in and style this however you want. But what's really cool is that the components are there already pre-built for you. So definitely pretty cool. Again, you have some examples here. If you wanted to create like some type of application for 
maybe Electron. As you can see, you could even have your, your top menu already set up for you. Um, again, it's a lot of different things that you can do with this. And yeah, man, you can see all of the different components. And what's really cool is that you can pretty much integrate this with anything, uh, especially like Next.js, Vite, Remix, Gatsby, Astro, Laravel, um, and just manually for any type of project that you might want. Uh, again, this does add Tailwind CSS. So if you're using Tailwind, this is going to be something that you can use and pretty much get started. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Tailwind CSS is just pretty much utility classes. Uh, so is pretty bare bones, right? So I know somebody that's coming from Bootstrap, they might say, well, why would I use Tailwind when, you know, none of the components really work or, you know, are actually something that I can use on day one right away. And it's like, I have to write the JavaScript. But guess what? This is why you use one of these components libraries where they're using Tailwind CSS and you can still customize it however you want using Tailwind. But at the same time, you already have all of these components here that work for you um, perfectly. Again, you have buttons, you have commands, right? You have date picker, right? If you guys have seen this, this is one of <laughs> most difficult projects that you can do uh, as a beginner, you know, building with JavaScript, right? A date picker is not as easy as people might think. So guess what? You could go in and choose something like this where it's already pre-built and all you have to do is style it however you want. Okay. So again, you have drop menus, you have input fields, right? Different examples of input fields that you can use. Okay, let me see what else we have in here. Scroll area, you have select, separators, right? Sheets, skeleton, right? When the data is loading up, you can use that. Um, again, you have tables, of course. So text area, toast. Okay, you see like the little menu or the pop-up modal that pops up at the bottom. Okay, so you can use that. So yeah, this is pretty cool again. Uh, this is called Shad CN. You can definitely check it out. Again, I'm going to put all of those links on the description for each one of these projects so you guys can go and check them out on your own time. Um, then the last one that I have here is one that to me is probably like the most beautiful one, um, especially when you're somebody who might not have like a background in design and you just want to start building something that looks really good. But again, you want to focus on the functionality of your application. You're like, okay, what do I do now? Do I have to now become a designer? No, guess what? You use one of those libraries to help you build beautiful UIs and get you started. Again, if you go over here, you have the documentation. This pretty much works with everything that's out there. Next.js, Vite, Remix, Astro. Again, these are uh, React components. So you're not just stuck with doing it with like the JavaScript way, like Next.js and and let's say um, Remix, you can also go in and use these components for an application that you're doing with maybe Laravel or maybe C Sharp.net, right? Or Java, etc. You can pretty much use this and start building some pretty cool uh, websites. So as you can see here, this is like avatars that you can use. Um, you have badges, as you can see, right? So again, there's a lot of little things that you know, just save you time that you might need for your application, but you might say, you know what, let me see if I could get a designer for this. Let me see if I could go get somebody else uh, to build this for me. And it's like, okay, you might as well just use one of the libraries and just save you that time. Okay. So again, you have drop downs, dividers, images. Um, so as you can see, pagination, right? And it looks really good. Like, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, this is really nice, very smooth, okay? Um, again, you have skeletons over here, different examples of how you can use it when the data is loading, all right? Um, you have the popovers, okay? As you can see, you have your scroll shadow. You also have, like, a spinner if you might need one for your application. You have different tables, Okay, organize. And as you can see, this one, it has like more of a design and like a design style for this. But 
Um, all the other ones you can customize, and just like this one, you can customize it as much as you you like. Uh, you're just using the components to be able to, you know, speed up your process of building the application, so you don't have to do everything from scratch. Okay, so definitely go check it out, guys. Um, again, I want to give you guys some quick videos just like this one where I just come in and give you guys some resources as I find them. And yeah, man, definitely go subscribe to the channel. Show some love. Tell me what you think. Which one have you ever used from this one? Chat DCN. Have you ever used um, Tremor? Have you ever used something like the Next UI? Let me know. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what you guys think about these. Okay. Uh, by the way, also, let me know what you think about this. Yeah, you like this new look, this new style, new camera, new lenses, new everything. Like, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, guys. It's good to see you guys. I'm back. We're about to drop a lot of content for you guys. So, yeah, let's get started, man. Definitely go check out codingphase.com. And today is actually Monday. So, you already know accountability meeting, 7 p.m. Eastern time for all the diamond members. So, if you want to become a diamond member, you want to get into codingphase.com, it's pretty much the best uh, thing to do because again you get access to me we get to look at your portfolio help you with the process of getting a job right um and again and you get access to every single course that's in codingphase.com that's like 90 plus courses plus more that we're adding right now as we speak okay so i'm gonna see you guys later see your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com peace